We had a good week this week because we had almost all of our guys, uh, and I'm looking forward to ha possibly having everybody tomorrow. Uh, so for the first time, so uh, it's been an interesting off season for us. I uh, thank you guys for coming here today and and uh, doing. But it's been interesting because of the injuries, the six surgeries, the um, different things that occurred. But I think, uh, and, and I know a lot of people have been wondering about this guy, that guy. But I think uh, right now, actually, I feel pretty good about our team, and I feel pretty good about where uh, we're at. It's uh, this summer we had five guys. Uh, for pretty much the entire summer. So we weren't getting a lot done as far as the whole unit, 13 guys. So we had to adjust what we did and, and adjust how we've done things. And uh, But we have, uh, I think, going tomorrow, we're going to have almost everybody healthy, 13 guys out there as far as scholarship guys. We've got three guys as, as walk-ons that are going to give us some uh, uh, some uh, good looks and practice too. So I think it was all said and done. I know what the off season looked like. It wasn't as far as getting things done. We were not in a situation to do uh, as many things we normally would do. But uh, I look forward to where we're at right now and excited about the, the 13 uh, guys that are ready to go. The one guy, Raphael, hasn't been able to go. I think he's going to be able to practice tomorrow. So uh, he's had uh, three different injuries since the time he's arrived. Hamstring, broke, uh, uh, fractured his thumb, and then uh, 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 turf toe. So. Uh, I don't know how you get turf toe when you haven't been practicing, but he managed to pull that one off. But it's a significantly injured foot. Uh, but he's, it looks like he'll be ready to go tomorrow. So we go through everybody, but uh, schedule excited about that. Uh, obviously, the ACC schedule took a while getting out this year, but we're uh, uh, no. Uh, we always know we're going to be playing Louisville and Syracuse. So we know with that uh, as our uh, rivalry partners. Uh, um, that uh, we're going to have as tough a schedule as anybody in the conference or in the country, probably the toughest, just based on having those two always every year. And then going forward, we have uh, uh, um, uh, off, uh, excited about uh, what we've got in the, uh, in the preseason. So uh, a lot of good opportunities for us. And uh, the main thing, again, as, as we've seen in the recent years, we just got to stay healthy. And if we can get all our guys out there, I feel very comfortable about our team. So, questions? Go in here. Jerry, how, long it, how long is it going to take, do you think, to uh, kind of get a good feel for your, what your rotation might be? I think, I think that's going to be ongoing. I think we have 13 guys that can play. I mean, I, we still haven't seen a lot of Raphael. We had two days of Damon being out there for workouts. I mean, Damon's had an interesting offseason. Uh, all different things, speculation about him, but he's ready to go. He's able to, he's, he's qualified. He's, everybody was talking. We knew he was fine academically, but obviously some uh, things were out there about him and his status, but he's fine. He's a very good student and uh, had a, a separated shoulder. He's been out for six weeks. So uh, yesterday and uh, half a Wednesday, he was able to go for that uh, two hours of workouts that we're able to have. So I uh, got a little taste, a uh, little uh, opportunity to see him. Uh, so he's, uh, he's new. Um, uh, but I think it's going to take, I think it's, it's going to be constantly changing. I think, uh, you know, we've got a lot of new guys. But at the same time, we have a lot of returning scoring, a lot of returning minutes. So I guess, you, you know, where to put us as young or old, I don't know. But uh, uh, it's different, obviously, unique team for us. Uh, we have a unique recruiting class and that we have uh, uh, these transfers. Uh, but uh, given the situation, I think it was, uh, it was what we needed. And I think it's, it's going to be uh, productive for us at the same time. So I think, I think it's going to be uh, uh, interesting to see how these uh, seniors uh, adapt, how they fit in. And uh, I'm excited about where they're at. But they're definitely going to bring some experience, some size, um, some uh, uh, skill. Uh, I think they're all skilled offensively. So I think they're going to give us Alonzo and, and Raphael and, and Sterling are all going to give us something different. But I think they're going to give us a, a, a nice, uh, um, give us some nice options. Yeah, he has. And obviously he missed the first couple of pra workouts, as you can say, his skill work. But he's, he's practiced and uh, had a pretty good day yesterday. And um, he's been out there. He's getting uh, stronger, something we've talked to him about. And uh, I think he's, you know, I mean, obviously given the situation and uh, we had to come up with a, a point guard, 
um, James's situation, Chris's situation. We needed another guard, and uh, I think uh, you know from what we've seen so far, he's he's definitely a guy that uh, obviously was getting recruited by a lot of different schools uh, early in the year, but. Uh, uh, fortunately, uh, we were able to get him, and I think given the situation, he's a pretty good pickup at that time of the year. Is it surprising to get a, a guy you feel that good about that late in the process? Uh, we've done it before, so I mean, it's happened, and yeah, you can't want, you don't want to count on it. But as I tell our guys, I'm recruiting. There's always a guy out there, and there's always uh, you got to make the right decision, and we'll see, we'll see. He's got obviously it's an adjustment junior college to our level. But um, you know he's he's been uh, open to, to coaching. He played in a good program. He he was well coached. He's got to get stronger. But uh, he's got the you know quickness that we we were looking for, and uh, he is a point guard. Uh, he can score the ball, uh, but uh, we'll see what he can do defensively. I think that's obviously going to be the biggest challenge for him and what we need. So at the same time, that's that's very important. So, Jamie, when you bring in these uh, grad transfers, these one-year guys, and that's yeah. sort of a new thing for you, but you know, what's sort of the process of assimilating them? I mean, do these guys come in expecting a lot of playing time? I mean, do they? I think every situation is different. I think uh, we've been looking at them. I mean, everybody's been looking at them. I mean, you look at the schools that have been recruiting these guys, and at the end, it's, it's, it's you know, Kentucky, Duke. Uh, you know, uh, Kentucky took one a couple of years. I mean, it's just it's part of the game. It's going to happen more and more. And, you know, there's a thought to that the rule wasn't, uh, was going to change and there were going uh, uh, there was going to be some adjustments to it but I'm not so sure now so I think it's become become more and more uh, prevalent I think in football you're going to see it uh, more and more and uh, basketball as well so I think every situation is unique I think uh, um, you know obviously we had uh, some things happen in the spring uh, that were uh, um, you know that, that uh, changed what we had to do, and uh, each each situation different. But Sterling, I think, uh, gives us some uh, shooting, some experience, he does some good things. But he does some things that uh, rebounding, loose balls uh, that we were excited about, um, and then also uh, Alonzo was kind of a need, and uh, I think he has an opportunity. I think well, I think he fits in, in a lot of things what we what we need, but what we do, and so I think he gives us something there. Raphael's another a big body who I haven't seen enough of to really get a good feel on uh, with what he's gonna, how it's gonna transfer over to us and what we're doing. But uh, we're gonna know quickly here, and uh, I just think it's a it's a way. I mean, they've made it easier to transfer uh, in the NCAA, so when it becomes. Uh, uh, the spring, uh, you know, the best players available are transfers. And so it's pretty uh, clear that it's going to be a, uh, a cycle that continues. You know, it's, it's uh, when you uh, make it easier to transfer, that means the transfers are what's going to be available. And they're the best that, that is available, especially late. As far as once they get here and you work in them in, mm -hmm. is it realistic to expect those guys to be able to provide leadership? Oh, we could, we, yeah, I think you, you could go through the uh, different programs and different uh, situations where these guys have had uh, impacts and and come from uh, 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 what we what m many might consider a lower level and are able to uh, step in right away and contribute. And uh, you know that's our hope. That is that that was our hope and. Uh, uh, experienced guys. I mean, at the, the end of the day, they're you know oftentimes 23, uh, 22, 23 years old, and uh, it, it's they're playing against uh, a lot of guys that are 17, 18, 19, and so that, that's a big difference. And so uh, um, that has uh, has proven to be a, uh, a reason why they're successful. And I think it's something that could happen with these guys too as well. Where are Chris and James right now? I know they yeah. came in late with the injuries. Uh, for the start of the year, do you feel like they'll both be ready to go? Yeah, there? well, they they, uh, they both, uh, interesting enough, they uh, both were uh, ready to play uh, the, the same time. And James was out for 14 weeks. I mean, you know, you, you, you write up a preseason plan and after you, I mean, uh, 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 in the postseason, after the season, you know, sitting out 14 weeks is not what you want. But uh, we got to make the best out of it. And uh, and same thing with Chris. And uh, he, he was out about 10 weeks. Um, so it's you know it's not ideal, but we're going to make the best of it. And and uh, the thing is, they're healthy now. So what they did is uh, we had that two hours a week that we could do. So they were able to go. Uh, uh, those uh, three days that we went, and they went the entire time, obviously two hours uh, total being. But I do not anticipate them being able to practice the entire time uh, as we go here this, these first couple weeks. Um, as you know, we're very conservative in what we do as far as our players and getting them ready. So 
uh, keeping him out for 14 weeks was, you know, beyond what uh, that injury usually entails. And uh, we're obviously going to do the same thing as we go forward, as we gradually get him into play. But both will be not uh, able to compete uh, the entire practice time uh, these first couple weeks. But we have plenty of guys. What are you seeing from him so far? Uh, Chris was pretty effective uh, uh, these last couple days. I think he he was very – James played smart. I I think they – in no way were they at their best. But I think that's a gradual process as we go forward and we get into November. Um, again, there's you know sitting out for and not playing for 14 weeks is is uh, there, there's there's no good way to put it. I mean we've been dealing with this the last couple of years and and uh, you know we try to pay, paint the best picture possible, but you know it is what it is. If it was the best thing to do, you'd, you'd keep guys out for 14 weeks and not practice them. But uh, um, it is it is uh, it's going to take some time, but uh, we have time, and I think they're going to be uh, where we need them to be. Jamie you mentioned. It. Size. How much better do you feel about rebounding the basketball? Have yeah, it's got you know, obviously something we've been known for and something we've done well year after year, and uh, we need to get back to that, and, and, and it's what we're going to do. So um, I think uh, we'll have the ability to play small. We'll have the ability to play bigger. Uh, we got to keep these guys healthy. But uh, I think, you know, we'll see more on uh, Raphael. We'll see on Alonzo. We'll see on uh, Roselle. You know, we've got some opportunities, some options. Stay healthy, get better, improve. Um, we've seen improvement from all of them since the time they've been here. Um, you know, I think there, there's. I don't anticipate it one guy. I think it's going to be a, uh, a group. It's going to be a, uh, um, a rotation, and uh, we. Uh, I think uh, you know they've got the bodies. They've got experience. They're they're bigger, and uh, and uh, for the most part, they're healthy. And I think that's, uh, you know, I think that's uh, an improvement in that area. Jamie, how unique is it to start the season with an opener against the yeah. top team in the country, you know, yeah. on the other side of the world? Yeah, well, it's about as unique as you can get. There's, no one, there's not a lot of teams that have played uh, in Japan, so uh, um, uh, it's, uh, it's, it is, you know, you, you, you talk to, you know, ESPN and you, know, you say, hey, we'll play. Whatever TV games you have, they play. So when they say, here's the game, you do it. And that's what we've always done. And that's how we've been able to get in these uh, great games, great events. And uh, this is obviously their, their uh, premier uh, event opening the season. They promote it. They talk about it. They, uh, and it's just a, an honor to be uh, included in it. So uh, you know, we're excited about the unique uh, setup, uh, as you will. It is uh, uh, an honor uh, to go to the Marine base, to be a, a part of uh, uh, what uh, these troops, uh, what they do for us. And I think it's going to be a great experience for, for, uh, for life first, and then a great experience basketball-wise. And uh, Gonzaga is obviously very good, um, and uh, experienced and big and, and all those things. Uh, but um, you know, we've played against some pretty good teams over the years, too. Challenges does that pose, and does it make maybe the exhibition games a little more important to kind of figure out who's going to be able to? Kind of no, I don't know if it makes it more important. I mean, we've played, you know, we've played. Uh, we've generally most teams don't play uh, a, a, a opponent like this in the in the first game, and most that's why it's such a big game because there's really only one game like it to start the year, and that's uh, uh, what we signed up for. But we've done it before. We played Alabama the first game of the year. Uh, we've played some very good teams. Um, uh, so it's, you know, I mean, we, we've got to get, we're in a more interesting or more challenging has been the, uh, you know, having five guys in the summer, you know, in the summer workouts, you know, we, we've got some uh, uh, things to do. But again, I'm excited right now. I mean, a lot of teams aren't healthy at this point and, and may have some injuries. We've gone, done a little differently. And so I think we're going to have everybody out there. Exhibition, we only have the one exhibition this year. We're going to do a scrimmage instead. And uh, so a couple of things factored into that. Uh, so I think we've, we obviously have to have a good preseason for a lot of reasons. Um, but uh, we've got to get some things done. We've got to get uh, our, our rotation, as, uh, as was mentioned, as, as, as Paul asked. Uh, we've got to, as every team does, you've got to figure out who you're going to, who's gotten better, who's improved. And, and uh, for us, it's the new guys and getting them involved and obviously not having a lot of them during the summer. So we've got a lot of things to do, but so does everybody. We start earlier. We've gotten earlier uh, uh, 30 practices to get better, and uh, so we're going to take advantage of it.
you said you have a scrimmage instead of the second exhibition. Mm -hmm. That's with another Division mm -hmm. One team. Yeah. Yeah, we can't, I guess, I don't even know, it's the first time doing it, so I don't know what I can say or how I can do it, so I don't know if I want to break a rule here on the first day, but uh, I know you can't publicize it, so you're probably the guys that I can't publicize it with, so uh, I'm sure you, I, you guys didn't know who we're playing, or playing against, I was wondering if that's out there. Oh, okay. it's out there I can't, somewhere. I can't tell you, I can't tell you, so I'm going to have to get it from somebody else. Uh, on that, but it's it's interesting. It'll be uh, we haven't done it before. A lot of reasons why, but um, it, it's it's the right time for us to do it this year. Um, James has obviously been your starter since mm -hmm. his freshman year. It's yeah. sort of strange to have a guy that uh, it's been your starter since since freshman year, yeah. and senior year. And does that make how much easier does that make that? Well, he hasn't been out there for 14 weeks, so yeah. that that uh, that uh, ease with which uh, you would think is is not uh, translated to to this group. But it was interesting having him out there yesterday, and uh, you can see he's been around. You can see he was to me he was more vocal than I remember him from last year, and that's something that we needed from him and need from him. So hopefully that continues and it, and, and it will. Um, but yeah, it's great to, to have a. a uh, a guy that's been around and has done the things that he's done. Um, we need to have him to have a better year. There's no question about it. And uh, we need to have uh, for him to have a, be one of the best point guards in in the in the conference. And uh, as a guy that started for four years, you know that's what he needs to be. So uh, you know that's a, a lot of the best point guards in the conference. The teams that were the best year last year were had the best point guards and. Uh, um, you know, we, we feel it, with his experience, he should be amongst those guys. And uh, these 14 weeks haven't been good for him, but um, he's hungry. He's, he's done everything he possibly could to get ready with the, within the limitations set by our trainers, our doctors. Uh, but he has worked hard, and, and uh, uh, we got to get him ready uh, to be at the top, top speed and, and uh, to be playing his best basketball of his career. And that's what you hope out of a senior. Uh, it's, it hasn't gone as planned, but uh, he's a he's a he's a strong, tough, uh, unselfish teammate who will do everything he can to, to, to help the team win. Who, who among your other guards will kind of be his backup? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, uh, 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 you know, I think uh, as things of Damon will play some point, and and uh, and uh, uh, I, you know, Chris was a possibility. We had Lezak out there for these uh, couple days. Mike Lezak out there. Uh, Sterling played some uh, as well uh, for us. So uh, just at a, at a at a need, at a need. So um, you know that's uh, uh, and then Jonathan as well. So you know those we we've got some options. You know hopefully uh, we'll we'll get a good look at them. And uh, but you know again we anticipate James being being the guy as far as uh, coming back with that experience. What do you see from Roselle? I see a guy that works and, and uh, is guys great, uh, great hands, soft touch, scores the ball well around the basket. He's got a, a knack for it. Uh, obviously, conditioning and, and his weight is, is, is something that we're continuing to uh, try to improve. But uh, he's, you'll, you'll see, he's, he, he'll stand out. He, you're you're going to notice him when he's out there. He's big, and, uh, but really a nice, soft-spoken, but he has a he has a toughness about him, a physicality about him, uh, as well. So you like to see that in a guy. He does use his body, and uh, we just got to keep getting it. It's a process, uh, but we need him to to continue to uh, improve. But he's got to stay healthy so we can uh, monitor and and continue this uh, development of his body and uh, and, and conditioning. How does he fit into the rotation? You're talking about the oh, big Oh, wow. Well, I mean, can we, I, it's, it's, you know, this thing's wide open. I, I see him as a, as a guy that's going to five. We want our bigs to be a little bit more interchangeable this year. We're between the four and the five, so we can play uh, any, any combination of the two. So we're kind of doing things offensively and defensively with that in mind. So uh, as far as uh, there is no, you know, starting group. And, uh, and again, like I said, Raphael, we haven't seen. Alonzo missed a lot this summer, almost all of it. And uh, uh, um, Roselle missed a, a lot too as well, even, even after he got here. So, um, you know, we're, we're going to, you're going to see, uh, 
Uh, what you see today will be the, them all together uh, will be as much as I've seen uh, them all together. Uh, we've, uh, but I, I'm encouraged because I think tomorrow we're going to have everybody, and uh, that's uh, if 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 you, I guess if you had the choice, you'd rather have them all together in in, in uh, the first day of practice rather than May or June. So I think we're all going to be healthy. We'll see we'll see how uh, they progress. But I'm excited about them. I think it's a great group of guys. They um, have all uh, done, you know, obviously uh, APR. That, I got that the other day where 1,000% uh, perfect score again. And it's not out there publicly, but we've been doing that year after year. Uh, GPA, well above a 3.0 as a team uh, overall, not just this past uh, summer. Um, so that's been a goal for ours, and our guys did it this summer. So we have a great group of kids, and you see all the different things going on in college basketball and the decisions you have to make as far as character and, and students and, and uh, the, the things going on. Uh, I'm very proud of this group, and, and uh, I just uh, we'll have them over at the house today. And you know, I, I know I could go and leave town and leave them at the house. And as long as they invite Paul over, uh, it'd be a pretty, uh, pretty uh, safe party, and uh, they they take they do good things. So I, I'm proud of these guys. I think uh, I think they're a very good group. They're great kids. I think we got to get uh, become more physical, but I I really do think they want to do those things and become. Uh, uh, different, uh, improving the things that maybe they didn't ha think they had to do beforehand in high school or at another school or, or, or in the past. I think they're open to, to becoming the, the type of team that we're used to seeing here, and that's, uh, that's going to be important. But they're, they're a great group, and, and I, I trust these kids uh, uh, on and off the floor uh, in every way, and that's, that's important in today. Yeah, where you wanted Jamel and Mike to improve, and how key are they to what you defense want uh, first and foremost? Uh, rebounding probably second. Uh, I think Jamel, this, uh, as far as uh, skill wise, uh, bas uh, passing, dribbling, shooting, uh, they 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 do that because they work on it, and they're, they're, that's coming along. Uh, some would be shocked by their development in those areas from their times in high school, their bodies. Uh, I think that would, they'd be shocked by that as well. Um, they've become good athletes that mo both were not considered good athletes uh, at a high school, but their body uh, is, have changed dramatically. Their body fat um, have dropped significantly, and they're, they're both very good athletes now. J I think Jamel uh, has made obviously a transition. Uh, really, both of them made a transition. Mike, I think, uh, more per to a perimeter guy, uh, and Jamel. Uh, both uh, in their skill, but I think defensively too, they can guard on the perimeter better than they had in the past. So, but it, it, there's no secret. We we we've got to become the defensive team program we've always been. And for whatever reason, it uh, what didn't occur last year, and those guys were a big part of it. So they've got to get it changed, and they've got to become the the defenders that we've always had here at Pitt. And uh, if they don't, we've got other guys. And uh, we I, I'm excited about our depth. I think we have options this year. And again, I thought we did last year. The injuries kind of took it away from us. But uh, this, this time, I really feel good about our, our, our depth. And, and uh, uh, stay healthy. We're, we're going to be able to do some things and get back to the defense and the rebounding that we've always been. What sort of uh, improvements have you seen skill set wise and uh, body wise from Cameron Johnson? Uh, Cameron Johnson's gotten heavier. Um, and, and I don't know that it's all been uh, just rely It hasn't all been great weight as far as muscle. That's usually what you expect. Obviously, he had the shoulder surgery, and we weren't able to play. Uh, obviously, hurt us last year when we didn't have him. Uh, but uh, he's gotten heavier naturally. He's been eating. I, I even, you know, he just needed weight, and now we're going to have to kind of redefine it. But he's put on 30 pounds since he got here, and that's without having being able to lift up, upper body this whole uh, off season. So now, again, not ideal for as far as what we want to do as far as development. But he's gotten uh, heavier. I don't know that he's gotten stronger upper body. He's gotten stronger lower body legs. Um, but uh, physically, he looks better. You'll see it. Um, we got to redefine it some. Uh, so it's kind of, but given the situation, given what he could do uh, shoulder wise, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about where he's at. And skill wise, obviously, he was playing for us. I think a surprise uh, to a lot of people how, how well and how prepared he was. And uh, we really missed him last year when he went down. 
So uh, we need to we we're, we're looking forward to him. And again, what he needs to become is a, is a great defender, and he has the ability to do it. It's just never been something that he uh, has uh, had to do in high school. So we'll see where it is. But his future will be d defined by his uh, his defense and his rebounding. Based on like his skill set and his size, it provides a bit of an X factor for you. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know X factor. I mean, he he's uh, his shooting probably gives you that, uh, gives us that. I mean, we think we have good shooters on the perimeter with Jamel, with him, um, with uh, Sterling, with Chris uh, at those at those wings. Those kind of look. We'll obviously play some a couple of those uh, guys that are playing some point at the at those spots. But uh, I think I think. Uh, uh, he does. He's 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 different, uh, in, in that he's that he's grown too. You guys are going to be surprised by the size of him, uh, the length. Uh, so he's grown, uh, and and now he's growing into his body. Uh, but yeah, he can shoot the ball at six eight. And uh, you know when we recruited him, he's probably six five, six six, and that's what he's listed. And everybody thought he was six four, and he'd grown during his senior year. I mean, he's he's it's obviously a late bloomer, a guy that's grown late, and uh, he's filling out and. and we're excited about him. I, again, defense will be determined, you know, how much he can contribute. Uh, but he can shoot, he can pass, and he puts the ball on the floor a lot better than people, I think, would think. Jamie, you mentioned the interchangeability amongst the bigs. Yeah. How important is it to have guys like Roselle and Rafael to be able to take the load off of Mike and put him back down to the floor? I mean, he was going up against some of the best bigs yeah. in the country last year at the two center spot. Yeah, uh, Alonzo is going to be a big factor in that, and, and Ryan, too. Uh, so I th in our mind, we've got six guys. Jamel uh, moved over to that spot, uh, the uh, other, uh, other big, for a, a brief uh, uh, couple plays yesterday. But I think between those six guys, we should be able to get uh, production and keep them healthy, uh, improve. Uh, again, the, the flexibility I think that they'll provide is going to be huge for us. And it'll give us the ability to play small, play, uh, play big. And I can't be concerned with, as he play, is he a five or a four? I just think we got to have the, the flexibility between those six guys. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but uh, I think they're going to give us a good, good. Pl I think we're going to have good minutes there. I felt last year we were kind of handcuffed and, and, and forced to play guys more than I wanted to play them. Uh, and uh, um, I never felt like that before. But uh, I, I, this year I think you know it, guys are going to have to earn their minutes, and uh, six guys are going to be battling at those spots. So let's stay healthy and let's let's uh, let's have that competition. Improved front Did court you? play. How do you feel third year in the ACC? Ah, uh, I mean, um, I'm sorry, John. You. Yeah, so you talked about you know yeah. having more options on the yeah. front court. Do right. Feel, how do you feel going into that? Oh, into the ACC this year. Well, I think we need that. I mean, I think we've always been known for our big guys and and our strength, uh, whether it be. Uh, uh, inside out with with our with our big guys with our depth we always seem to have a, a lot of big bodies and and they they uh, were skilled and, and could do things offensively um, and uh, I you know I don't think that was what what our strength was last year but I do believe we we have the guys that can give us the, the defense the rebounding and give us some things offensively uh, to do that you need it in you know we've been in the Big East we've been in the ACC you need it in both leagues when you're playing against the best teams in the country you're going to need balance uh, inside and out. And uh, I think we're going to have it. I mean, I, I really do believe it. I believe the experience that some of these guys provide um, will uh, um, be a, a key attribute for us. And so, uh, you know, I, wh whatever year we're in, as far as the, the ACC, you know, w we've got to stay, keep uh, healthy and uh, keep getting better uh, amongst those guys. And, um, you know, we, we, we've, you know, we uh, uh, we're going to play against good people, and uh, we know that we're going to play against good big guys, good guards. But uh, you know, I think we have the depth that we're not going to be uh, uh, relying on one guy to to uh, uh, or undermanned as far as depth this year.